Hi, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the Editor-in-Chief over at theserverside.com, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about how to deploy a WAR file from Jenkins to Tomcat. Okay, how do we get this going? How do we get this to work? Well, two things. You need Jenkins and you need Tomcat. I've got both of those installed here. There's tutorials on the server side that show you how to do that. They're not currently running, so I'm going to first start off Tomcat, heading over to the bin directory here, run my git bash and call the startup command. So I'll start Tomcat on port 8080. Now I'm doing all of this on the same machine. Um, so I've got Jenkins here. I need to start Jenkins. Obviously Jenkins is not going to start on port 8080. So to start Jenkins, I just do Java jar Jenkins.war. And say the HTTP port is going to be 80 Mario Lemieux. And now we've got Jenkins running on port 8080 and Tomcat port running on localhost. So let me just bring up Jenkins. That should be that there. And then we've got on 80, there's Tomcat. So take a minute to load Jenkins the very first time. But what I want to do is I want to do a build job in Jenkins. I want to pull some code from Jenkins and I want to create a war file from that code and then push that to Apache Tomcat. Now, a uh, couple of things I'm going to need. Uh, the first thing I'm going to need to do is define a user in Apache Tomcat that uh, can actually accept uh, remotely provided war files. So you need somebody inside of Tomcat who actually has permissions to do deployments through, uh, through a URL. And so that means going into Tomcat, going into its config folder, taking a look at this tomcatusers.xml file, and adding in a new user who has the right to run scripts and deploy applications. And this is what that looks like. So we had a new user here. Their username is war deployer. Password is Jenkins CI. They've got the ability to uh, run scripts. Um, I'm actually going to save this file. So that is saved now. So we've got the new user and their password. I'm going to use that in a moment inside of Jenkins. Um, so that's why I'm kind of emphasizing this here. Again, that is the tomcatusers.xml file. That's in the tomcat conf directory. And you know what? After adding that, I don't think it's a, a bad idea to restart Tomcat. So I'm going to shut Tomcat down. and then just start it up again. And there we go. That just makes sure that that user is in there. So uh, we now have a user that can deploy uh, war files remotely through using the URL. Uh, we now need to build a war file. Oh, there's me. Um, I've got a repository over on GitHub, github.com slash Cameron MCNZ. If you click on the repositories tab, you will see a project called Rock, Paper, Scissors. This project, well, the master branch right now actually is a Spring Boot application. Um, if you actually want a, a web application, you go to patch one. And this patch one, if you look at the POM file, you'll see that it gets deployed as a war file. Uh, the one in the master branch gets deployed as a jar, so if you use master, it won't work. Um, but I've got a, a project here, plays rock, paper, scissors. It's in the patch one branch. Um, so if I want to use this inside of Jenkins, all I need to know is the branch, patch patch dash one and the URL to clone. And I'll click on that clone or download, copy that URL, and then head over to Jenkins. Now from here inside Jenkins I want to do a create a build job that will pull from GitHub, build the application using Maven, uh, create a war file, and then push it to my Apache Tomcat server. Um, now one thing that I need to do in Jenkins, obviously I've got the, the, the source control Git plugin installed. I've got Maven um, support, all of those things just kind of packaged in with a default install. I think inside, in order to get Maven in here, I had to go into the, the Jenkins, manage Jenkins, and just make sure that the Maven tool was configured. 
continuously I've installed git. Um, I don't even think I've installed Maven. Okay, Maven must just be on the path. So, uh, But I assure you, Maven is installed. Um, and what I want to do is I want to be able to do that, that whole process of, of building and deploying that WAR file. Now, the trick to doing the WAR file deployment is a plugin. So if I go to Manage Jenkins, go to Manage Plugins, look under the Available tab, and I want to go and search for Deploy to Container Plugin. And there it is right there. Choose to install that plugin. We'll take just a, a moment to install it. There we go. We have success, the blue ball indicating success. By the way, there's a, a good article on the server side that explains why uh, we use blue balls and not green balls in Jenkins. So that's interesting. The creator of Jenkins explained that to me. So there's a little quote there. So go check that out. Um, but I now have that plugin created. At this point, I just want to now create a new item. So I go to Jenkins, I want to create a new item, a new build job. So I create a new job. And this job, I'm just going to call it the Deploy War from Jenkins to Tomcat project. It's a freestyle project, my favorite type of project. I'm going to use a JDK Java 8. I think that's installed and configured. Just make sure you're using a JDK. I'm going to be using Git. Um, and here for Git, I'm going to type in the name of my repository. So when you go to github.com and you find this repository, you can see this cloner download. It gives you the download link. I'm going to copy that. Paste that into the repository URL. On the branch, I'm going to call it patch1. Remember, master uh, won't work here because the master branch deploys to uh, an embedded Tomcat jar file. Uh, we want one that deploys and builds into a, a war. So there's my repository. There's the branch that I want. I'm going to build the application using Maven. And I'll just do that with... A clean install. Uh, you may not have the the Maven here. You may be able to just accept default if it's uh, already configured on your path. But uh, in this case, I need Maven, and you can build it using any tool you want. So if you want to build it using Ant, if you want to use it, build it using Gradle. If you're more comfortable with that, all you need is a is a WAR file. But, but this is all standard stuff. Pull from Git, build with Maven. the The real trick here is this post build action. And for the post build action, what I want to do is deploy a war year to a container. Now that option is only available because I just installed that that deploy to container plugin. So if you don't see that, you haven't installed the deploy to container plugin. I will select that. It'll say, well, which war or ear files do you want to deploy? I'm going to say, well, I'll just go look into that, specifically the target folder, and find any war file that you find inside of that built workspace, so that's the syntax there, splat splat slash splat dot war. So look for a war file to deploy. The context path is just basically the context root for when the application deploys. So for me, it's just going to be RPS. And then you need to add a container. And I've actually got Tomcat 9 running, but this will work with Tomcat 8 as well. So I select Tomcat 8. I actually need to add a credential. And of course, remember I said the, the username was going to be, let's see, what was that username? This is from the tomcatusers.xml file that I configured just moments earlier. The username is war deployer. The password, I'm just copy and pasting this, is Jenkins CI. I'm going to click add. That now and select it. So now that's the credentials we're going to use. And of course the Tomcat URL is just localhost 8080 because that's where we have Tomcat locally installed. I will now click save. I think I'll actually go and click configure that one more time just to take a look at all of the settings. So it's Java 8. We have patch-1, 
We're going to build with a clean install Maven command, and we're going to deploy our application with a context path, RPS, and the server is running on localhost 8080. Let's just make sure it is running. There it is. Oh, and by the way, I'm just going to look into the web apps folder here. You'll notice that there's no war files in this web app folders. If this project runs successfully, there will be. Okay, so that looks good. I'm going to click Save, click Apply, click Apply, click Save. And then I'm going to click the Build Now option. The build begins to run. If I click on the build, I can actually see the console output, which is interesting. You can see it going to Git and pulling my project down. And then finally, we get an indication that there was a successful build. Okay, so now let's go take a look at that Tomcat folder. And you'll notice that in Tomcat, we now inside this web apps folder have this rps.war file. And so that was put there by Jenkins. Jenkins deployed the war file. Tomcat has then extracted that into the rps folder. And you notice there's an index.jsp file there along with game.html. To actually see if this application is running, I'm going to go to the port Tomcat is running on. Go slash RPS. This will trigger index.jsp. And if I click on rock, the game plays. Paper, the game plays. Scissors, the game plays. And you can now see that we have successfully deployed a web-based application to Tomcat using Jenkins. And if you enjoyed that tutorial, why don't you head over to the serverside.com of the editor-in-chief over there. we got lots of great tutorials on Git, GitHub, DevOps tools, and cloud-native development. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can always follow me on Twitter, at CameronMCNZ. And hey, subscribe on the YouTube.